Those who know me know I'm extremely paranoid, I guess, when it comes to this YouTube. I guess sometimes I have to double, triple, quadruple watch what I'm saying. This is the fourth time I've done this video. I'm about to go on a trip with my family. We won't be back for a couple of days. I felt it if I felt as if it was my responsibility to give you a video. Because you need one, you know. I haven't done any videos in a couple of days. Those of you who just signed up recently and gave me the friend invitation, I call it friend invitation, the invitation for friendship. Uh, today will be the last day. Anything given to me today will go on my family's list. People who watch me are not my friends. They're my family. But a lot of people fail to realize the significance of family today. Family today is not those people who are raised with you, not those people who can actually give you uh, an ounce of blood. Family nowadays are those people who you allow yourself to be surrounded by. In saying that, what I want you to understand, this new family that, you know, America has spawned is wonderful but it's also sad because family you know like we were raised as Auntie Bertha Uncle Jimmy such and such and such and such your cousins and all this these are people that we no longer actually communicate with we don't communicate with those family members anymore we don't see them we don't call them we know they exist but you will call your homeboy almost every morning you will call that girl you like damn near every night but you won't call your mama you won't call your sister you won't call your brother this is the new American family the new American family are those close-knit friends that you surround yourself with those people you're willing to do anything for is the new American family. I'm not saying this because I think it is. I'm saying this because this is what I see it is. We got family members run amok and steal shit from us. The blood relative family. We got these people who we go to work with and 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 listen to them cry and pout and and you give them hugs and everything and and you love these people that's not your cousin that's not your sister that's not your brother it's a co-worker so close close like family see the new American family is multiracial multi-dimensional I mean it's like half the folks on YouTube that agree with me and that I agree with if we was all at the park you swear we're his family if we were all in some setting together you would swear we're family and think about what I'm trying to say is like these people we surround ourselves with actually become closer to us than family members that gakes me back one more level I said in this video where the little fat kid slaps his mom, the little bastard, I said that America has been teaching people to be individuals. Where's the first place you find your individuality? You find it at home. You find your individuality around family members. Your parents teach you to be an individual but part of a family unit. If the unit is fractured from the beginning, you're just taught to be an individual. Look out for yourself because your mama won't. Look out for yourself because your daddy won't. You're going to have to get your own job. You're going to have to do this. You're going to have to do that. We teach people to be individuals. And once they become individual, they don't need family. I get my shit on my own. I get mine. The attitude that I, 
I, me and only me, can control the world and everything around it, is what we're taught. We're taught our shit don't stink. Yet and still, when we fart or come out the bathroom, people gotta fan the air. That's what we're taught. We're taught to stand up for ourselves. Fuck everybody else. That's all we're taught. We're taught that this person can't take shit from me and I'm not gonna let this person do nothing to me. That's how we're taught. And then those teachings, we forgot one thing. We forgot that we are not in this by ourselves. We forgot we can't do it all by ourselves. We forgot that this is not ours to control by ourselves. That's what we forgot. And me, being 40 years old, I'm calling out to every other 40 year old, 50 year old, 60 year old, 70 and 80 if you're still around. Teach what we learned and not what we were taught. We need to start teaching these kids now. The 16 and 17 year olds are done. You can't teach them. The 13, 14, and 15 year olds are done. We can't reteach them. From 11 down, we need to teach that the family is mother, father, brother, sister. Those people that we bring close to us are close enough to be family, but they really aren't family. That is the new American family. We need the old American family back. But believe this, when we redefine the new American family, we will have a place for those so-called friends that are close enough to be family. We're going to put them right in there next to brother, sister. Because these people give us something our family members don't. An outside perspective from someone who has, who has nothing at stake. That's what we believe. They have nothing at stake when they show us love. That's why we let them come in. That's why I love my people on YouTube. Because they know, they know my my people who can watch a 10 minute video, they know. They know the truth. Hmm. There are some things I was gonna say in this video, but I end up going somewhere else with it. Notice the title. The title was supposed to be the real AI extra real me. I was supposed to tell you things about me that nobody knows. Do me one favor. Don't look at me like I'm some highly educated scholar because I'm not. California failed to educate me. Everything, every bit of knowledge that you hear come from me, come from the streets of California. They come from Mama Ida's wisdom. They come from Henry, Henry Lee Marshall's uh, alcoholism. All the knowledge in which you see me display comes from the world around me. I never learned nothing in school, so please don't say I'm educated. The only education I have is the education that God gave me. Some people would say there is no God. If there is no God, then how did I get my wisdom? I got my wisdom from you. The millions of people out there the millions of stories I've heard you learn from people in saying that I don't want people to think I'm some kind of fraud some fake some phony I don't have an education but I encourage everybody out there to get one don't be like me be better than me somebody says uh when I used to play basketball, I like, well, you were trying to be like Michael Jordan. No, I'm not trying to be like Mike. I want to be better. But at 6'4", I wouldn't happen it. Because I ain't 6'4". You've been tuned.